guys, welcome back to All Around LEGO, and today we'll be reviewing LEGO set 70818. Let's get into it. To start this review off, we'll go over some particulars first. It was available from January 2015 to July 2015. It has 197 pieces, and it could be bought for $15 at time of retail. As for the actual set itself, we'll go over minifigures first. The first figure you get is Emmett. It includes this little round 2x2 two two waffle. It's printed. Looks really nice. Not a necessary detail on the set, but it is a good inclusion. Then it includes Emmett's standard outfit with the silver lining of his construction outfit, his standard hair, his face. He has a smile, uplifted, it's a different smile than we're used to seeing, or face print, I should say. And then on the back, he's sad with a frown instead of screaming, like he is usually. So, very nice figure to include. It includes a different face print, which makes it exclusive to the set. Next up is Lord Business. He has his standard red tie, standard business suit. Gray legs with no print on it, no print on the back. His hair piece, which I do believe is exclusive to him, has the five different sides with the weird mohawk, I guess, on the top. Feels like it would be in the Lego Minecraft set with how blocky it is. It's really nice. Gets the hair detail, and then it has the bit of gray hairs down there. On the back of his head and then he has a his face print of him smiling it's got his cheekbones there his uni brow and then on the back you can see him with a bit of a confused face or disturbed really nice very cool figure to be included next up is benny he has a sausage nothing too special there and it is the regular old space logo Standard blue legs, and then he has his little jet pack on the back, which is the old print. I think it was really nice how Lego did that for him for the Lego movie. Really went back and got everything. Then it has the old helmet with the crack in it, as you can see. And then for his face, it has him happy, and then it has him about to cry because he's so happy. So, very interesting i believe all the figures are exclusive to the set if i'm not mistaken next up we have the ghost obviously his name is very hard Mat matravius i think it's hard to say has his staff with the lollipop i believe on top with the standard crystal piece that we saw a lot clicks right in there has his cape it's very shiny on the inside on the outside it's just blue Nothing special there. Then for his legs, pull them out. It has the tassels at the bottom and then the rope that goes up. As for his face, oh, and his arms, this is just all white. Has his ghost smiley face with the rubber band at top, on top. And then this piece here is actually glow in the dark, so you can have him glow in the dark and fly around. Very cool with that. This, that figure I'm positive is exclusive to the set. And then you also get Unikitty. Standard Unikitty. She is sitting down. Has her big head. And then for her face, she has a bit of a confused face, wondering what's going on. The eyebrow print. And then the regular face with that. Nothing on the back of it, though. But what's nice is, since all these figures, besides Metruvius, have uh, double-sided faces... So they gave her one with a different slopage of the eyebrow, as you can see. It's basically flipped, and then it shows her about to cry. Very nice. Now for the actual set itself, you get a smaller build, and then obviously the double-decker couch. For the smaller build, it is Emmett's car that you see at the beginning of the movie. In the back, it has this little storage area where you can put his hat, and then it's and then it slopes up, has this roof that you can just pop off real easy. And then in here, just a little spot where you can fit Emmett. Has his steering wheel, and then the glass frame. Take this off, you can actually see a custom print 
to tile that says radio, which is really cool. Then he's got his rear view mirrors jutting off to the side. And then it's got his headlights, no license plate. And then these doors do open so that he can get into his car. Very nice build to be included. It's definitely something that was nice to be added on extra. And then obviously you have the double decker couch. Looks really ugly from the back, so obviously it would be displayed from the front. It's got these two ladders on either side being attached at the bottom so that they can fold up and be reached to the top. I don't necessarily like how if you have the two cushions folded in since you can pull them out like that. How it kind of like slopes outward, I think it looks a little funky, but that's just me. And then you have four armrests. These two should have cup holders. I just lost the piece for that, so I'm ordering two more. And then these cups will go on it, just like these top two. And then these ones also fold down, but nothing's attached to them. And then you got four seats. They aren't perfectly centered, which I think is a nice detail, so that you can have better spacing between your minifigures, but you can have one sit here. And this is interesting that they don't have the four studs, they just have the one. You can have the one sit there, the other one sit there, and it'll be up there. And then you got these two down here, which I have the cups on. Very nice. I like how the two support beams around the back are very sturdy. It allows you to pick it up there. The rest of the model is actually really sturdy too. It's a very solid build. And then you have the stability portion on the bottom. And then just all the connecting upward. It's a very nice set and a very iconic one to the LEGO movie. Is it for today. Thanks for watching and be sure to have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time in all around Lego.